Hey guys, it's Randy here at eTrailer.com. Oftentimes when it comes to loading boats or getting your boat into a slip, it can be a challenge, whether it's wind, maybe it's waves from other boaters out in the water, maybe you're on a river and you've got some current coming to the side, or maybe you're just not that good at driving a boat. Whatever the case is, these guides from CE Smith provide you with an excellent way to get that boat loaded I use a PVC that's very strong, very durable, it's a thick wall, but it allows your boat just to slide up and around. We're going to mount these. This is the 60 inch version. This is the 75 inch version. Just depending on how high your rub rail on your boat sits up off your trailer or in loading and unloading in a lot of rivers, guys will opt for the longer one because sometimes that trailer does dip pretty far down on some of the steeper ramps. You just pick your size accordingly. Get one that's gonna work for you. I always prefer to go with one a little bit longer than shorter, just because they're gonna be up and out of the water and be very visible. So it's gonna mark your trailer outsides for you. You'll know right where your boat needs to go, but it's also gonna keep that wind and those other things we talked about from blowing you off course. Essentially, on this side, as you're coming in with your boat, you just want the edge to just barely touch it and use that guide to run you right up and on. They work really, really well and working with customers, they've had issues, they come to us and say, this is what's going on, what can I do to fix it? How can I get my boat loaded on the trailer without spending 30 minutes on the boat ramp and aggravating people? Basically, this is it. You're gonna put these on, they're gonna come out and up. Now this kit's designed specifically for I-beams. We can go anywhere from a two and a half inch I-beam up to a four and a half inch I-beam. Generally, aluminum trailers is what we're looking at. But we also have these to fit onto regular square beam or rectangular beam trailers. They can save you a lot of headaches. Now you can see with the I-beams, these can be mounted below if you've got some interference up on top or above if you have interference on the bottom. So if you have an opening, generally you want these to be as close to the rear of the trailer as you can get them. Being able to do that, either low mount or high mount, it's gonna give you a lot of options so we can get them more perfectly positioned as far back on the trailer as possible. Now CE Smith isn't the only boat guide manufacturer out there. There are several and several different brands, but in my experience in the years that I've been out boating, CE Smith seemed to last the longest. The other ones have thinner material that these are constructed out of down here. And I generally see people that go with models that aren't CE Smith looking for these after they've ruined that first set. Now, I'm not saying we can take these at cruising speed ram into and, and expect them to last but if you're just good enough of a driver to where you can ease your boat up there allow it to rest on it and come on in you're not going to have any problems these are going to save a ton of headaches they save you embarrassment if you're just not that good at navigating your boat or those precise maneuvers all we have to do is get up and touch it roll on in We'll be off the ramp in just a few minutes. You won't be wasting other people's time. You won't have to worry about them looking at you. You don't have to worry about them mocking you. You'll be on your trailer. You'll be on the road. You'll be on your way home. Also, to ensure they last a very long time for you, we're going to have galvanized treatment on all the steel components on our clamps. Well, with the exception of the bolt, that's got a clear zinc finish on it. But everything else should last for a very long time. I have not seen a lot of rust and corrosion on the clamps or on the pipes themselves, even after years of use. Now, if nighttime loading is something that you do, we have a couple options for lights for these. There are replacement caps that will go on and you can use your running light circuit to light those with LED lights. Or there are your actual trailer light replacements. You can bring a clamp up here and your light will hang off here to the side. So. I like those as options, especially if you know, you're loading up in the middle of the night and stuff like that, just to give you a little bit more of a frame of reference on where you need to be. Now, as far as the installation process goes, it's really straightforward. You're just gonna need two 9 16th wrenches, two 9 16th sockets, whatever you need. We've got this one installed on the top of our beam, as you can see. We're able to use the two pieces of the clamp, grab each side. And then, of course, we pass our support through and we'll use a bolt on top. Now, 
you're going to have two different size bolts. We've got our shorter bolt here and longer bolt here. For this one, which is about, I think this one was about three and a quarter inches wide. This one was up closer to three and three quarters of an inch wide. That smaller bolt seems to work. So I'd say anything under three and three quarters ish, you'll use the smaller bolt. Once you get over that, you're probably going to want to use that larger bolt. But to install it, we're going to mount this one on the bottom of this one. This, these can be mounted on top or on the bottom. It's going to take one, we want it slid on that way. Take our other one and slide it on the other way. We want these basically to be facing one another. Bring it up to the position we want it. We want that clamp to fit around there, just like that. And that allows us to adjust in or out. Now, ideally, put your pipe on there when you're setting that distance. What we're looking for, no more than two inches, no more than three inches. You want it to be pretty close. That way, as you get lined up there and you get going, getting guided in, it'll take care of it for you. Once you've got it in the position you want it, the bolt's going to pass through. We're going to place on our washer and our lock nut there. Grab our wrenches. Just begin to tighten that down. You want good pressure on it, but there's no need to really bend these clamps or anything. We don't want to deform anything that squeezing pressure holds our bar in place really well. And at that point, you'll put your PVC down and on. And once those are installed on your beam, just want that slot to line up with the tab. On the inside, that's gonna keep that pipe from rolling around or spinning just like that. As long as you have the appropriate spacing, you're gonna be ready to go. So I think as you can see, these are going to be an excellent choice, whether you're an experienced boater and you want to just counteract the wind or the current, or maybe you're newer to it and you're just trying to figure out how to get your boat loaded up. These are going to be a really good solution or get your boat into the slip. These are going to be a really good solution for that. These would definitely be something that I would own.